welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I do upload new videos every single weekend, so stay tuned for that. Today what I'm going to do is a try on fashion haul for when you're going on vacation. So this is the time now where people are going on vacation, especially me. I am going to Jamaica at the end of this month, so I'm super excited for that. This will be my first vacation that I will be going on in my life. I picked up a bunch of things along uh, the way getting prepared to go on vacation, so I maybe have overdone it. I don't know what I'm going to be bringing with me or not, but I just thought I would show you guys some outfit ideas as to what you guys could bring with you on vacation. So my first one that I have here to show you guys is something that I picked up last year from H&M. Maybe it was the year before, but I want to give you guys some ideas as to things of what you could bring with you on vacation. So hopefully this gives you some ideas. I know some of the things may not be so recent, but it gives you ideas, right? So this is the first thing that I picked up was from h and was from the Beyonce collection actually. It's really cute. It has like a waterfall kind of look to it. And then the back of it is opened. So this is like a spandex material. It's very tight. It is very flattering on your figure. It's very cute. It has like that halter kind of style and it fits very well. So this would look cute with wedges or sandals. You can wear like a little cute kimono over top of it if you don't feel so comfortable with it being stuck to your body because <laughs> it is that spandex material. So that was the first idea. The second one I absolutely love. So this dress here is from Cynthia Ray. I got it at uh, Winners. So another store that is very similar to Winners is actually owned by the same company is Marshalls, TJ Maxx, TK Maxx. For you out in Europe or the States, I'm here in Canada so I do shop at Winners and there's a Marshalls here as well. So this dress is very cute. The reason why I love it is because it is like wrinkle free, I swear. Like I can pack this literally in a suitcase and have it stuck in there for literally like 70 days and it will not show a wrinkle. So these are ideas that I'm keeping in mind as well is things that are wrinkle free that you don't have to bring a wrinkle spray with you or your steamer or anything like that. Like that's not necessary, right? You want to bring dresses and outfit ideas that do not wrinkle. So you want to make sure you're keeping that in mind. So yeah, this is very cute. Colors are beautiful and it's actually 100% silk. Another idea that I am super excited to bring with me because I'm going to Jamaica and I feel that this dress here is super Jamaican vibes. I don't know why I think it's just the color but I just think that this will be super cute on in Jamaica. So it is that flowy type of material. It is again from Winners and it's 100% polyester. This dress here is definitely wrinkle free. So that is great to bring with you. Just simple straps here and then at the back it has the cross strap. This you can pair it with maybe a belt to give your waist some dimension or you can just let it flow and again wear some wedges, sand Sandals. You can bring a cute uh, little black cardigan if you start to get cool at night. Again, I have not been on vacation, so I have no idea what to expect. I don't know if it's going to be cold at night, so I'm going to be packing a little bit more of things. For my next one, it's from Marshalls, and the brand is Calvin Klein. I absolutely think this would be gorgeous with a tan. If you're going out for dinner at night, like one of the Elkarts, the material on this is again 100% polyester. So I'm starting to find here that polyester is a type of material that will not wrinkle. I'm thinking of ideas and grabbing, picking up stuff that do not wrinkle. So this is very nice. Honestly, I'm thinking of things that are easy to put on. So I don't want to be pairing up shorts with a tank top. Then you got to think of this and you got to think of that. I just want something that's very simple. You just throw it on and go. Cause I, I obviously like if you're in a burn, you don't want to be having heavy materials on to you. You want something that's light, flowy, and that looks really cute. So this will look especially cute with the tan, and I love the details and the prints on it. So moving on to some more dresses. Now that's a little bit of the ideas as to what I have for short dresses. They're not short, but now I'm moving on to maxi dresses. So I picked this dress up here from Dynamite. It is a maxi dress and it goes long <laughs> and it has two slits on the sides. Um, your legs are showing through, which is a very nice light and flowy type of dress. So it's really cute, comes up like a halter and at the back it has a low back in a tie, which is really cute as well. The print is just so flattering and it has a little bit of a peephole here too. So if you want a little bit of 
um, sexiness going on. There you go. I think this is just really cute. I would probably wear this again with wedges or with sandals. It is a very quick throw on dress, but the, my only concern with this is that it does wrinkle. So it is that material that will wrinkle a little bit. It's like a chiffon type of material. I'm trying to find as to what the material is, but I can't see it on here. So I, I don't, I'm not too sure if I'm going to be bringing this or not, but I would love to, but if it's going to wrinkle, that's not going to look good, right? My next maxi dress that I absolutely love. So as you can tell, most of my items here are from Winners. This again is from Winners too. So it's a very long maxi dress, very flattering. So this is the front and guys, wait, look, look at the back. So beautiful. So it's completely open back and it has these crochet details of teal, black and brown with the pink around and it's so flattering on like it has a little bit of a liner underneath so that way it's like a silk liner so that way it kind of like holds everything in <laughs> but it is very nice and flattering so you're gonna have to wear one of those uh, sticky cups or something like that with this but I'm hoping that there's gonna be like a bonfire or a beach party or something like that it would be really cute go for a nice dinner and then uh, go to the beach for a nice bonfire your legs are covered and you can honestly just hold it up while you're walking so I think this would be a very cute elegant dress to wear. So my next couple of items here are rompers. I think rompers are very cute when going on vacation because it again it's like a dress it's very simple you just throw it on and go. So some can be flattering some cannot <laughs> but this one here I just picked up recently from Dynamite and it is so cute my god like it is flattering and I love floral print it has open sleeves so it ties right out to your uh, wrist and then it's open which is very cute and that's on both sides and then again since it is romper it has shorts and it has a cute little bow as well this is super comfortable so I bought it in a size small to begin with and I found that it was a little bit riding <laughs> at the back so I got it in a medium um, so if you're buying this or purchasing this item make sure to maybe go up one size yeah that's from Dynamite I love that very much so again from Dynamite I have this cute little romper that I picked up maybe a few months ago and I'm not too sure if I'll be bringing this with me or not um, it has sheer sleeves I'm not too sure if you can see that it's sheer, has sheer cutouts um, right at the waistline, and then the front has a deep V that is sheer. So you would have to wear, again, one of those sticky pads for, for your boobs. <laughs> and um, it's very cute. It's shorts attached. It's just all black. So I think that this would be very cute, um, maybe with some heels and um, nice, nice earrings and some bangles. So I'm not too sure if this will be too fancy for um, vacation or not. So I'm going to try it on and I'm going to see what I have and um, debate on that. So, so I might be bringing this, but otherwise, if you are that type that wants to dress up and go full out with like heels, stilettos, jewelry, all that stuff, I would highly recommend that romper there. This is another romper that I picked up not too long ago as well from Sirens, I believe it was Sirens, but I think you can get it from Urban Planet as well. I've actually seen this romper in quite a few stores, even online as well. It's very cute, like it's this very nice uh, baby pink with the crochet detail around it. It's very cute. I mean, I don't know if this looks more like a pajama <laughs> or if it's too revealing. Like, I mean, here you can see my, uh, it's very low and my cleavage is sticking out. So I'm not too sure if I will feel comfortable that way. Um, but I mean I love it like it's it's very cute it has a bell sleeve and it's very comfortable too like it's that t-shirt material which I really like so I think that this might be a go I'm still debating so I'm not too sure so moving forward with a couple more ideas that you could possibly wear I don't know if I'm gonna be bringing too many shorts or tank tops or anything like that because I do love just wearing dresses because again it's simple you just throw it on and go right I don't want to have to be worrying about uh, shorts putting shorts on and pairing something up with an outfit or something like that if I am going to be bringing an outfit I will probably be bringing this one so I picked this up not too long ago from dynamite again and it's a cute crop tank top again it is floral print and then the back of it here has a little bit of a opening with a band and it's open back which is nice so it kind of like flaps open with the open bar here so this was a very good purchase that i think will be nice and flowy for vacation or even spring or summertime so pairing with this 
I will be putting on um, these shorts that I picked up from Dynamite as well. They do have them right now in a couple different colors. So they do have them in olive green, a black, and this khaki neutral color. So I, these are super comfortable. But the thing with these shorts is that they do wrinkle. So I'm not too sure if I will be bringing these with me on vacation or not. Because if you sit down immediately, the front, like, totally creases so I don't know if that's gonna look too flattering or not and I don't want to have to worry about steaming or anything like that so I already explained that but I don't know I might be bringing these these are super light and super comfy so possibly now moving on to some cover-ups so these are a huge like checklist on my list because I really want to make sure I have enough cover-ups because I know if I'm going to be going on excursions or if I'm going to be walking along the beach or anything like that, obviously wearing your bikini or your bathing suit is a must, but sometimes I like to feel covered up because I don't want everyone staring at my body all the time. I know that you shouldn't be self-conscious or anything like that, but if you're going on ex excursions, I don't want to be sitting in the shuttle bus or however they transport you um, with just a bikini on. You've got to make sure you have some cover-ups right so I was fortunate enough to have this given to me last year from my uh, boyfriend's mom so she picked this up from Cuba for me which I'm super thankful I absolutely love it it is a crochet detailing and it's super cute it's like my god like it this is something that I'm definitely going to be bringing with me and I am super excited to be wearing this and then I have this dress that I could potentially wear as a cover-up or I can wear out to dinner as well or anything it's from dynamite and it has a cute little ruffles at the front ruffles on the bottom well it's actually crochet detailing that's at the bottom in the top and it's kind of like that silk material as well so I might be bringing this and I don't want to have to worry about getting anything dirty too so I don't know if I'm going to be bringing this white dress from winners last week I actually know Marshalls from Marshalls I picked up this cover-up and it's super cute so again it's a crochet material and with this I love it because like if I'm going in the water or anything like that I won't have to worry about getting this wet and getting it ruined because if it gets wet it's fine right so it's very cute it's see-through crochet now if the bag has that little crisscross it fits perfectly I mean it's super flattering and it's very comfortable too and lightweight which is what I was looking for so I got that and then from winners <laughs> again so I know the super hot trend right now is wearing over your bathing suit like a kimono style so I picked this one up again is floral print <laughs> and it's that kimono style which is super cute so if you're wearing a pink bikini or a blue one I think this would look really cute it's very lightweight it's that silk material kind of almost like a t-shirt material but it's silky <laughs> but you can find so many like these at Winners Marshalls TJ Maxx TK Maxx another cover-up that I'm debating on bringing because I have that other black cover-up but this is like a t-shirt materials from Dynamite and it's very low so if you're wearing a bathing suit it's completely like hanging out so I don't know what the point of this would be for bringing cover-up um, maybe it's just to cover up your bum <laughs> or something but it is very low and it's a t-shirt material so that way again you don't have to worry about if you get it wet have to worry about ruining it then here I bought this from Costa Blanca a long time ago but this is an idea that you guys could possibly find within your wardrobe now that you can potentially bring with you on vacation. So this is just a t-shirt dress that I did wear as a dress at one point, but you can easily wear this as a cover-up. So there's a little bit of a pocket at the front, and this is my go-to cover-up that I've been wearing for years, but this is an idea. I see it everywhere. American Eagle, so this one particularly is from American Eagle. I saw some at Winners, I saw some at Marshalls, Old Navy. There's a bunch of uh, retailers that do sell this type of style. So it's a dress, but it's a tube dress, which is really cute. And it comes in at the waist, so that way it, it's flattering. So it's not just like blah on you. Um, it actually gives you some dimension. It's super easy. It's again a t-shirt material. So that way if you get it wet, you don't have to worry about it, okay? So that's what I have for dresses, cover-ups, rompers, maxi dresses, all that stuff. So now let's get into the bathing suits. Okay, so now for my bathing suits, I will be just showing you here because I don't want to be trying them on, but I picked this one up from Marshalls. It's so beautiful. It fits perfectly too. It has a little bit of a push-up within the bra, so it makes you, uh, ladies who don't have anything like me, <laughs> make you look like you have something. And then uh, here's the bottoms. Very comfortable too. Like they honestly fit perfect. 
And then I picked this one up from Marshalls as well. It's like a teal bluey color, but then it like kind of looks white. So with a tan, this is gonna look beautiful. Again, it has the exact same thing of where it's like cups, but it has a little bit of a push up within here to give you a little bit of a push. And then these bottoms are super comfortable as well. They have little detail here. These are gonna be nice. And I'm not too sure if I'm going to bring this one. Uh, I got these from Levy and Rose. It's the, their swimwear department. And then I got this from Victoria's Secret. So I thought this would be really cute, but this is high-waisted. So I'm not too sure if I want to be bringing a high-waisted bathing suit bottom with me on vacation because I don't want tan lines. But it's really cute because it kind of shows the see-through here. And the pattern is just so nice. Another one that I have here is from Victoria's Secret. It has the detailing here of the V, if you can see. On the inside is the cups, so you can insert them here or you can take them out. I prefer to have the cups in. And then here's the bottoms. It's all crochet, which is super beautiful. And I also picked this one up too when I picked up the pink crochet one. Uh, so I thought this one was super cute as well. And unfortunately, their swimwear is not in store anymore, but you can buy online. And then with the same bottoms of the first bathing suit, I can pair it with that because it has the blue in there. So I love doing little mix and match, or I can also put this one with the pink bottoms as well from the other bathing suit because there's pink in there too. So I thought this was a very versatile bathing suit pop. And then I have this one here that's from Bikini Village. It is super cute. The video here does just like doesn't do justice for it. As you can see here, it is so nice. Like honestly on the inside it has the cups as well where it gives you a little bit of a push up, but the color is beautiful. And then the bottoms have that exact same little ruffle detailing. It has strings on the side, a little bit of detailing on the side there. And then and I picked up this bikini here from Plumerware Swimwear. It is absolutely beautiful. So it's a black bikini with the strings, has the detail that go around your waist here. Then it has the bottoms here. It's a little bit cheeky. <laughs> it actually is very cheeky. And it has detailing on the side here as well. I absolutely love it. Fits beautifully. So if you're ordering online, definitely pick up your size, but maybe go up one size as well. I did, I went up one size and it fits perfectly. So that concludes my try on vacation haul and I really hope that you guys grab some ideas for this for if you're going on vacation or even for the spring or summertime. All these items are definitely versatile for if you do want to wear it in the summertime. I mean it is just dresses, rompers, maxi dresses, cover ups, bathing suits. I really hope you guys got some inspiration. And like I said, I am going to Jamaica at the end of the month so make sure to subscribe because I will be posting up a vlog. I bring you guys with me on my journey, on my first vacation ever. So uh, make sure to stay tuned for that. And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys want to see next. And until next time, bye guys.